Welcome to the Communication Queens podcast for the visionary leaders, speakers, service providers, and podcasters who are looking to stand out sharing their story. I'm your host, Kimberly Spencer, former screenwriter turned master communications coach. On this podcast, I'll be coaching you on how to share your own transformation story so that you increase your visibility, influence, and income on podcast interviews. Let's get your voice heard. Hello and welcome back, my amazing communication queens. We are here in the studio. So our communication queens quickie today is all about the branding of your weirdness. So often we as leaders are scared to showcase those funky, weird parts of ourselves for fear of it damaging the brand for some weird way. There is a perception that if you showcase all of you, all your too muchness, your weirdness, your ambition, your excitement, your zest for life, your your sadness, your grief, the things that really, truly challenge you, even those weird quirks and kinks and things that you're like, I don't know if this is like fully okay to showcase. The thing is, is that that weirdness is what makes you uniquely you. And it's what establishes your brand as different than anybody else's. I mean, this is why most marketers, and you've heard this being said, of like, don't do vanilla. You throw in the chocolate chips, throw in the rainbow sprinkles, allow yourself to be weird. Because they will always and have always, if you think of all the visionary leaders throughout time, they will always call you weird before they call you a visionary. So you might as well lay it all out on the table. So what does this look like in practice in a podcast? Well, allowing yourself to be goofy. Now, I'm not saying don't be professional. You can absolutely be goofy and be professional. Meet my husband. <laughs> but the the amazing thing is, is that you can be goofy. You can have fun. You can have a laugh. You can do a silly voice. You can allow yourself to express yourself. Do a, do a funky reel. Do a TikTok dance. Whatever it is that is your like brand of weirdness, allow yourself to fully go for it because that also will create the kingdom walls for your brand. It will create the, the people who attract that mutual weirdness rather than the people who are like, mm, I don't know if that's really for me. Like, that's great. Awesome. Great. I'm not for you. Awesome. Like my brand of weirdness and is physical challenges. I freaking love eight really good physical challenge. I run six marathons. I've had two natural childbirths, one of which took, well, one of which took 24 hours. So a lot longer than a marathon, but I actually am that weird kind of crazy person who loves a really, really good physical challenge. That is my brand of weirdness. I'm an Enneagram 8. I own it. That's what makes me stand out to my clients, my coaching clients as their coach, because they know that because I love a challenge, I'm going to challenge them to rise higher and faster and, and become stronger in their performance versus another coach who may be, you know, more for holding space. I'm like, I will absolutely hold space for your grief of the old identity of who you have been. And I will absolutely challenge the patterns and limiting beliefs and experiences that you are and the stories that you've created for yourself. That's my job as a coach. But I'm that and that's what also makes me different and special and weird as a coach, because I am choosing to challenge more than I'm choosing to be in that more of a therapist role. I'm not a therapist, um, so I don't choose to be in that role, but more in that therapist ro role of like listening to your problems as to like why you're having this problem and being in that space of a lot of empathy. I have a lot of empathy for challenges, but my brand of my own weirdness, my brand and that what has attracted clients to me in my coaching business for Crown Yourself for seven years has always been my ability to challenge stories. And it comes from this also this love and this weirdness of a physical challenge. So Today, as you are thinking about what is that unique weirdness thing that you could share about in your story, in a podcast that makes you really unique and different than anybody else. It could be your love of Lord of the Rings. It could be your like Star Wars branding. And I'm just kind of, that's, that's very much my husband's <laughs> brand of weirdness as he is a total sci-fi geek and he loves it. And that's his brand and he loves animation and that's but he's incorporated that into who he is and to his branding. 
And my brand of weirdness is, is very different. It's I love that physical challenge. I am that weirdo who like is all obsessed with high performance and and how do we make things more efficient? And that's my brand of weirdness. I geek out and like nerd out over that stuff. So understanding what is that thing that makes you really, really weird. Like, that makes you like maybe you like to do funky voices maybe you like to dance so like for example funky voices let me tell you about my amazing friend Megan Conter who is the founder and CEO of the Dames I help her facilitate the Dames is a group for six seven and eight figure business women entrepreneurs and CEOs I have been a part of that group for three years now and I have helped Megan now facilitate multiple round tables, which is kind of like the gateway into the dames where we just enter like enter people into the cool community that she's created. And I love doing it. And she does silly voices. And before we go into the hosting and facilitating this round table of professional six, seven and eight figure women, like these women are in the top 15 percent of business women. Because only 15% of women make it past six figures. So, and only 2% make it to seven figures. So, but here we are in mutual weirdness, doing these funny, silly voices and whatnot. And she brings that into the roundtables that she facilitates. And by the way, if you want to join the dames, I will leave a link in the description for you to join if you are making over six figures. So this is such a beautiful example of allowing your weirdness to shine through. She loves voices. She loves improv. She loves fun. And so bringing in that uniqueness to who you are and that uniqueness and weirdness to what you do and to your story and to how you do your business, it's going to separate you and make you different than everybody else in. And it's actually your secret sauce. It's not the thing that you need to tamper down or avoid or put on mute because of the fears of being quote unquote professional. Like you still being professional is I means showing up on time, being keeping your commitments, operating with integrity, being there's nothing about being professional, at least in my definition, that says you can't also have fun and also express that weirdness. And from what I've seen, having coached leaders for seven years and having seen them build epic brands and build epic personal brands and from the establishment of your own personal brand, it is and always will be that weirdness that separates the 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 people who wouldn't really be for your brand anyways, if they really knew the real you, your weirdness will attract 10 times more the people than it repels. Why? Because when you are allowed to showcase those things and thus you give as an example, as a testimony, as I said in my TED Talk, you when you give yourself as an example on the altar of the perceived expectations of how you quote unquote should be or should do business or should do life or should do your brand, then I guarantee that 10 X is the amount of people who want to come towards you and work with you. And it will repel maybe one or two who are like, Ooh, well, oh, wow, that she's really not for me. I thought she was, but she has this extra weird thing. That's like not aligned with, okay, cool. Awesome. They go off and they find their person. But because you are showcasing and shining a light on that weirdness, you are in essence giving the people who are stamping out that, that light or muting that light of their own weirdness a chance to shine through. And when you do that, that actually attracts them more to your brand, to your voice, to your story, to who you are and what you're building than it does repel those who are not a fit. So what is that weirdness that you have? What is that weird quirk, that funky thing, that that weird thing that you're like, if you can answer this question, like if only they knew, if if they knew the real me, this is what they would know. If they knew the real me, this is what they would know. Because when you approach an interview like that, that's actually demonstrating your fully authentic self, which is the most beautiful, illuminating, light shining piece of who you are, because you are fully stripped of the plagiarized programming of all how the world thinks you should, quote unquote should be. And you att will attract 10 times more people to you by highlighting and showcasing your awesome funky weirdness so 
If you love this episode, please share this with a friend. And if that friend happens to have mutual weirdness, give them kudos as you share this for their funky, awesome, cool weirdness that you absolutely love about them. For example, my business bestie and I, years ago, when we decided we were going to be growth friends and we were going to grow together and we had very similar um, husbands, we had very similar stages of motherhood, stages in our business. When we decided, I said, I own my weirdness, that I am the weird friend that had to schedule a weekly appointment. Like, you have to schedule with me. I'm, I'm, I know I'm not the friend yet that is like, let me just hop on a text and let me just remember to text you. Like I get in go mode and get in hyper focus mode and and I go by my calendar. So she was like, oh my God, I love that about you. And I was like, great, awesome. So we own that and we've met for weeks now, but that's only because I owned my, my weirdness in that I have to have something on the schedule. It has to be on the agenda for me. And so when you share this podcast episode with a friend who has some mutual weirdness, make sure you honor, celebrate, and be like, queen, I love this weird thing about you and what you do. And I think that you're amazing for your weirdness. Thank you so much for letting me be my weird, funky self. As always, let your voice be heard, queens. You deserve to stand out and be visible with your voice. Till next time. Thank you so much for listening. If you love this episode, subscribe, leave us a review, and share it with your friends. For more tips on guest podcasting, storytelling, and communication strategies, follow us on social media at Communication Queens Agency and visit us at communicationqueens.com. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And in the meantime, remember, your story has the power to save one life. Let your story and your voice be heard.